Good day everybody, everything new under the sun here. This article is from Express.co.uk and it's about earthquakes. And we know there will be earthquakes in diverse places uh, prophetically in the end times. And uh, so we're going to see them all over and uh, here and there and everywhere. And uh, they're going to increase in frequency and uh, amplitude. And uh, this is about uh, Japan actually. So scientists fear the big one is coming as four major earthquakes strike in 48 hours and I think this will become you know more standard news as they keep getting more and more and maybe they'll be expecting a big one but maybe it won't come until um, the uh, you know when the Lord returns when there is a big earthquake um, and the uh, <clears throat> mount splits in, in Israel. Fears, uh, fears a catastrophic earthquake is building today grew after a fourth major tremor struck in the region in just 48 hours. There have been three large earthquakes uh, in recent days, including a major one in southern Japan, which destroyed buildings and left at least 45 people injured after the Myanmar's rocked on Wednesday. And uh, Japan obviously still has massive issues with Fukushima from the last earthquake that caused a tsunami, and that that has already uh, absolutely uh, you know wrecked their economy, and it's uh, no lack of uh, trouble there from Fukushima and the radiation and. Uh, they're saying 50,000 people are, are affected. 50,000? Maybe more of, more than uh, 50,000 square kilometers, I think, is, is what it was, were affected. And, uh, you know, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Tremors were also felt as far as 500 miles away at the National Park in India, where the royal couple Kate and William were visiting. Yesterday, the Japanese Red Cross... Uh, Kumamoto Hospital confirmed 45 uh, were injured, including five serious uh, with uh, injuries after the quake, a 6.2 and a 6.5, and a series of strong aftershocks that ripped through uh, Kumamoto City. Several buildings were damaged. The increased frequency, again, uh, the Bible speaks of increased frequency and uh, amplitude. The increased frequency has uh, sparked fears of <coughs> a repeat of the Nepal quake in 2015, where 8,000 people died. Or even worse, Roger Billum seismologist said, the current conditions might trigger at least four earthquakes greater than eight. The current conditions may produce four earthquakes greater than 8.0 magnitude on the Richter scale. And if they delay, the strain accumulated during the centuries provokes more catastrophic and mega quakes. And uh, <clears throat> you can see the it says the world has witnessed the numerous na natural disasters there. It's got some photos of, uh, you know, this would be uh, the, the Fukushima tsunami there. Yesterday's quake in Japan was followed by a 5.9 earthquake, which struck off the coast of the southern, southern Philippines. A um, number of buildings were destroyed in Japan. A 6 magnitude earthquake also hit yesterday off the coast of the Pacific island of Vanuatu. Um, it was 53 miles from the town uh, from town Port Orly, and the fourth one this week in the immediate area after 6.4 strength tremor hit a week earlier. Vanuatu is on the Ring of Fire, one of the most seismic parts of the globe and known for its earthquakes and volcanoes. Um, seismologists say the Himalayan region is overdue for a stronger tremor than Nepal's 7.9 strength quake last year. Yesterday's quakes total take the total to nine across Asia in a period of just over three and a half months nearly uh, three every month and uh, it's just an indication that uh, earthquakes are increasing in frequency and amplitude and, and indeed scientists looking at the patterns are expecting a major one and there will be a major one when the Lord sets his foot on the Mount of Olives um, but uh, also prophetically we're going to see um, a buildup of them as well um, as we get near the end times and the uh, time of the Lord's return so uh, if you're in an earthquake prone area um, Pay attention and be prepared for and anything could happen right now and uh, these things are building up especially over in Asia. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.